goes to the server. And in the server, you say, OK, you type letter A, changes everything, like in LibreOffice, uh, core, and then says, uh, says back, OK, you have to invalidate this region uh, where the letter A will be drawn. And this will be sent back to the client, and the client says, OK, because the server itself doesn't know which are the files are inside uh, the uh, client. The server, server only knows uh, that it's communicating with uh, client and that it has a browser. So then the client itself must still know, OK, this vision was invalidated, this vision was changed. So this corresponds to this type. And here he, said he must send again a request to redraw a type back to the server. So everything, every, just when you type in A into the server, it goes two times to the, to the server. And this is quite a, quite a, uh, creates quite a big uh, lag because you, you have, like uh, if you have a, a pink time or like a latency time between the server a, this is always two A. So ideally, we should uh, make a, this just one time. So in this uh, new version, we, if, when you are typed letter A, it goes to the server. The server knows which tiles uh, the client has and just sends, again, the tile itself. But it doesn't have another, another uh, uh, it doesn't need another uh, request uh, from the client. So it, it renders tile A and just sends it. And, and all the client has to do is show the tile and sends, OK, I have um, show, uh, show, show the tile and take, uh, say, OK, I have uh, acknowledged, I have received this tile, and it's OK. So if you, you have more complicated, like just not really, uh, just uh, use type ABC, so you can uh, already see uh, it. If you just look uh, how, what uh, happens, you can see that in the new uh, optimized version, it doesn't need so many back uh, round trips around uh, and to, to show just a simple use case. Um, problem that uh, can happen is also that if you invalidate time, you get it back and you just type A, B, and C like one after another. It can happen that there is send, it sends uh, files uh, one, another, and another, uh, one after another. But uh, in this case, this is optimized. It just waits a little bit before it sends back a new time. It doesn't render it. Uh, Okay, uh, now a bit about UI, UI changes. Uh, there's a refreshed toolbar. Uh, previously it was like this grayish color, now it's more like white, and we changed the, the icons itself uh, that were made. Uh, these are Colibri icons made by Andreas Kainz. Uh, and now they are default uh, in the new version. Uh, there is no possibility to just uh, rename the document uh, inside when you're viewing it uh, directly. There's no need to go uh, out and rename it. Uh, uh, in the top, we are showing when the, was the last time that uh, the document was modified. It's good to see uh, uh, if you have some stale uh, documents and when was the last re the revision that was made. Uh, and we have <coughs> lots of new formatting options uh, inside the toolbar that are previously missing, like uh, changing the 
for example, like here it shows uh, changing the, the borders of the of the tables. So, additionally, we added new dialogues uh, that were previously missing. So we, now we have a CVS import uh, is possible. So we can just uh, if you have a CVS file, you can define which uh, column uh, corresponds to which data type. You can create charts. You can now uh, have uh, the, the possibility to uh, for spell uh, checking and how we can format uh, columns uh, and if you if you insert a chart you can <coughs> define the data series and uh, change its format and I think that in the future we will add a lot of more oh, just, uh, depends on the unit which new feature we had. Uh, so what was uh, changed is also the shapes. When, when you are inserting shapes into, inside the, uh, the document, this was improved. And if you want to change it, uh, we, we now uh, uh, added new, like these uh, handles, you know, which are client sign uh, drawn. Uh, and uh, if you are moving it, you can rotate it. Uh, and for every this action, it will also show the preview, which uh, is quite convenient. Uh, it's a better uh, feel of what you are changing. Uh, previously, I think that it was just shown the rectangle and how it how you change it, so you didn't have any uh, feel for the change as well. So yeah, you have now, as I said, uh, preview of resize and rotation control was added, uh, and the size of the handles was also uh, made bigger, so it's uh, easier for the touch screen user. Uh, you have now this uh, new uh, toolbar for adding uh, uh, shapes. Uh, these are the shapes that are custom inside LibreOffice. Uh, you can just choose it and you can insert it inside the document. This was not possible. Uh, now, a new uh, feature that was added is like uh, for document signing. Uh, is, I will talk a little bit more about this uh, because uh, I was working on this. <laughs> So there is like uh, this uh, this open source company Rain that is building some blockchain uh, based self uh, store identity and personal data store. Generally, what uh, is uh, you are you can uh, sign the document and send it to their servers and uh, they will put it inside blockchain and you can do nice things about it. Uh, with it. Uh, what we added is just the possibility to uh, sign and send a document uh, to their server. So there is now this sign document uh, option. Uh, and if you want to sign it, you can just click here and you'll get the, like this toolbar where I you have to log in. Now you can log in with many different uh, like your uh, smartphone, or you can just put uh, inside a PIN number or just an email address. But once you are logging, you have the account. And this is, this, in this example, you just have to insert a PIN code. Uh, so you're logging, and then you have uh, the passport. Uh, this is like passport is like your you can, you can have many identities uh, depending on what what you are doing uh, so you have 
your person, but you have identity. I don't know you are a director of a company or you are just a person, uh, email or something. So this is one of the um, identities and you have to choose one. And then you have the possibility, okay, uh, to sign and automatically upload to the server. And before you upload, you choose the, the format you want to upload. Either you have the PDF, like you can just choose ODT, and if you have PDF, it will be signed, uh, PDF signing. It's in case of ODT or okay, Docker, it will be uh, signing of the uh, document uh, itself. And then you get just, okay, document was successfully uploaded, and then you can go inside to there. Uh, these are the web, uh, and you can see that you successfully uploaded a signed document to the uh, storage. And then you can go uh, on from here. Okay, uh, next uh, changes uh, uh, about uh, mobile devices. Uh, it, because, uh, a lot of users also use it from uh, inside um, uh, one mobile device, so we, because we don't have a lot of space there, we have to adjust the UI, so the UI is uh, more uh, responsive Responsive uh, design. Uh, so the biggest change here is like uh, for the toolbar itself, you can just it can just uh, uh, go hide itself inside this hamburger hamburger menu, and uh, it doesn't need to be shown all the time. So you can see it like it's uh, shrunken down. Uh, and all the actions are when you just hit on the, uh, the hamburger menu. Uh, and you have a lot more l larger space uh, to view the document itself. Uh, we improved the multi-touch uh, handling so you can use your fingers to uh, uh, resize the document or scroll it. Uh, and this also goes uh, for if you have dialogues inside dialogues you can zoom and uh, pen everywhere. Uh, and uh, I think this is the last slide. We have improved, uh, implemented the high DPI, so a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of devices have uh, are already support high DPI display. Previously this was not supported, it was not so crisp, uh, was like the rule uh, dialogues and so on. But when you have uh, high DPI, they look um, much better than the high DPI. And this is the It's only one provider. Ah, okay. Yes. But there is no limitation that uh, we can just implement another one. It is just based on blockchain, not the digital certificate, right? Yeah, it's the digital, digital oh, certificate. Yeah. Uh, but they, they, they provide the digital certificate and you sign it and you just send it back. Oh, so the so the so it's in Swiss, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Any more questions? Yeah. So, can I ask you any the feature in the expanding also goes to the real thing, right? Yes, this all goes to the exactly real thing. Including the 
Can you demo it? <laughs> Which one? I mean, the real one, like the let's say, like something writer, imp uh, impress whatever. <laughs> is the presentation is running on Fabra? So this is the development version. You may maybe see something that is flash, flash from often. Yes, that will be code like this. <laughs> Sidebar. Any browser will feed the same. Yes. You have to enable this uh, uh, in the configuration. I don't have it. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm, I don't think I, I can uh, live on this uh, sign here. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you.